Hey, what's up? This is D live here from my studio, and I'm finally working again on a new YouTube cover. This one's kind of special since we started this one back when COVID was still a thing, and apparently this little thing, as you might hear. But I finally got time now to sit down and finish the mix. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I found the perfect guitar sound for Jailbreak by Thin Lizzy using the Rockaway by J Rocket Audio Designs. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. First of all, I'm plugging straight into my Vox AC15 using a Shure SM57 microphone. I'm trying some different microphone positions, trying to find the sweet spot. So one thing I like to do in general is putting a booster right before an amp. And a common issue with that would be that the boosting device is coloring the amp tone way too much. So during the last years, I've become a big fan of transparent clean boosters. And quite recently, I got my hands on this bad boy right here, the Rockaway by J Rocket Audio Designs, which is based on the legendary Arca pedal. However, this little box here actually functions as a clean boost, an overdrive, and it has an equalizer built in. So depending on how you set it up, it can be quite transparent, but you can also really change the sound. As much as I like transparent boosters, there's something I value even more, which is being transparent. So I did not get paid to make this video. No company has any influence over my opinion and will never have. However, I did not pay for this pedal the face distribution company was kind enough to provide me with this one for free. They sent me this pedal and said, just try it out, you know, tell us what you think. If you like it, if you don't like it, we don't care, just, just tell us. And I remember plugging this one into my Vox, playing the first notes and literally running to my computer, answering them, you guys never gonna see this pedal again. I'm so gonna keep it. Yeah, so there's that. I'm gonna show you how I use it for jailbreak to find the right sound. First, I try to volume match the pedal. And then I try to get a little boost out of it. After a lot of try and error, trying to find out what each EQ band is doing, I try to set it in a way that it's complementing what I feel like is missing in the overall sound. And after that, of course, there's some more mic positioning. I also reamped the Angle Powerball 2 using the same microphone and a Mesa cabinet. I'm trying different microphone positions, again, trying to find the sweet spot. First without the Arca pedal, and here you can see me use the Rockaway as well. As you might notice, I really pushed the Vox Amp quite hard with the Rockaway pedal using it as a kind of overdrive pedal. However, for the Powerball, I'm gonna be way more subtle and just try to increase the gain structure before the amp a tiny bit. Again, I'm trying to volume match the sound. It's quite subtle. You can't really hear the difference if the pedal is engaged or not, which is a great starting point. Then I'm trying what all the different knobs are doing. Just to get an idea of what each EQ band is actually doing to the sound. Thank you. 
After getting a general idea what each EQ band is doing, I try to fatten up the sound in a very subtle way. And after that, I also re amp the camper using the Rockaway straight before the camper. And after the camper, I also re amped the Red 7 Duality 50 amp. Now we are going to compare all of the amps and then we're going to choose our favorite. We will start by listening to the guitar tracks only. And now we are going to listen to the same tracks inside of the mix. And let me quickly mention that the mix is still a rough mix at this point, but it will do the trick. I hope you did enjoy this behind the scenes video. You can let me know in the comments what your favorite amp was. I will get down to the mixing process now and you can see and hear the final version soon here on YouTube. See ya.